Welcome to the weekly Mesonet Weather Report. I'm Wes Lee. As the seasons recently changed and we are now into fall, I thought we would take a glance back at a weather summary for our summer from June 20th to September 22nd. This line on the chart shows the smooth statewide high temperatures for the summer compared to the long-term average in the blue field. I'm using smooth data here to show trends and not the daily fluctuations. We spent most of the first part of summer several degrees below normal. However, by the end of it, Mother Nature tried to play catch up. If we put this together in one map, we see that overall we experienced a slightly cooler than normal summer. Close to normal in the Panhandle and coolest compared to normal in the Southwest. Extremely hot days of over 100 are shown on this map. For the majority of the state, they saw a couple of days or less above the century mark, pretty tolerable by normal Oklahoma standard hot summers. The summer rainfall map is a little all over the place, with abundant rainfall in the southeast and southwest, much less in the northwest and east central counties. Hopefully next week we will have some more recent rainfall data to talk about. Gary is up next with a discussion of a really bad flash drought. Thanks Wes and good morning everyone. Well, I'm afraid we're still dealing with this flash drought situation across most of the state of Oklahoma. Now, I'm going to give you the conditions before it rained this weekend, and hopefully next week we can have a better report. Let's get straight to the new drought monitor map. Well, as you can see now, most of Oklahoma now has at least moderate drought, that light tan color. Uh, and then we do see some areas of uh, severe to uh, extreme drought, the, uh, the darker brown uh, and also the red color. Um, so drought continues to flourish in Oklahoma, at least through this week's report. And then we see those abnormally dry conditions, the yellow, covering most of the rest of the state of Oklahoma. Really the only good area, it's relative, would be down in far southeastern Oklahoma where they received plenty of rainfall over the last few months. But otherwise, most of the state of Oklahoma is dry or in drought uh, conditions. Now the latest USDA report on the topsoil moisture, percent short to very short is not very encouraging for Oklahoma. 79% of the state short to very short topsoil moisture. That's an increase of 7% from last week. Um, again, this is the report before the rainfall, hopefully an improvement next week to give to you. We continue to focus on that shorter term rainfall. So just the last 30 days when that flashed out really started to accelerate. And you know, some areas of the state had less than a hundredth of an inch of rainfall. So really hurting across parts of central, uh, down into south central uh, parts of Oklahoma, and then also out in the Panhandle. And that shows up very well on the Mesonet's percent of normal rainfall for the last 30 days. Look at those zeros there across central Oklahoma. Uh, also single digits scattered about the state. Not very many people above 25% of normal for this time period. So again, that's lots of fuel for that flash drought to uh, accelerate and intensify. Well, I hope we got plenty of rainfall so we can start to adjust some of these drought maps and numbers and have a better report for next week. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report. <laughs>